Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm doing probably the most highly requested video I've ever had on my channel, which is a tutorial for this froggy bracelet. Now this video is going to be super long, for which I apologize, so let's just hop right in and get this bracelet made. Our materials are going to be some green thread for the frog, some white or red for its eyeballs, like we see here, some black thread for the eyes and mouth and the background as well so yeah let's cut our strings okay you're gonna need 10 base strings just like in a row i am not gonna do a fancy shape start i'm just gonna do this to make it just the same with two blades so i'm just gonna anchor down 10 base strings probably cut at about two and a half to three feet each. you guys are gonna want to take this down but with a fair amount left out probably about six four to six inches so you can make a blade so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. We, for this pattern, are going to start with separating our base strings into two groups of five, because we want to make the band, and I'm gonna do about 24 or 26 rows for the band, just FYI. But for these five, you're gonna go ahead and do a forward knot over each little string for these five. Okay, once you reach the end, it's time for the tricky part, which you have to do a forward backward knot over all five of these strings as if they were only one single string. So a forward backward knot, that's one thick knot. Wow, okay. So that's what we call our first row. So then we're gonna repeat it, we're gonna do a forward backward knot. And then we're gonna do five well, four backward knots and then a backward forward when we reach the other side. Because we're doing the straight edges technique. Sorry, I just hit the camera. Like, again. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, now that you've reached the single string on the end, you're going to do a backward forward knot as to complete the straight edges technique. Now you've just done two rows, so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process like uh, 12 more times of doing this two rows and then I'll be back. One more thing, to start off this next row, you're gonna do a backward forward knot. Okay guys, I have done 26 rows, voila. And it's time to start the actual frog. Okay everybody, how this is gonna work is we're gonna split out our five bass strings on the left over here and then choose one from the ginormous group of five to put on the other side. So then we have four in the bundle and six on the other side. Then what we're gonna do is start the rows the exact same way. So we'll do a backward forward knot on this side, but then we'll do five forward knots over these new threads. And then we'll do a forward backward on a group of four instead, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Now, for this next row, you're literally going to keep all the strings the same, so do a forward backward on that bundle of four, and then do five backward knots, and then a backward forward knot. Five, and then a backward forward knot. Voila. Once again, we are going to be changing up the strings again. So we have six on the left and four on the right. So we're going to pull another one into the left. So I guess this could be an expanding row, but I kind of forgot what I said. I think it's out. I have no idea. I'm so sorry. I forgot. But now we're going to have seven over here on the left and three in the bundle. So once again, you're going to start your row by doing a backward forward knot over the edges because we're doing the straight edges technique then we're gonna do six forward knots and then we're gonna do a forward backward over this bundle so six forward knots and then a forward backward knot on that last bundle forward backward beautiful okay for the next row we're actually going to be adding another string to the left side so right now we have seven little bass strings over here and a group of three but this group of three is now a group of two and this group of seven is now a group of eight. So now we have two on the right and eight on the left. So what we're gonna do, of course, is our straight edges. So a forward backward knot, 
And then we're gonna do seven backward knots and then a backward forward knot. Okay, everybody, for this next row, it's a special row. And when I say that, I mean, we're going to be knotting over each of these bass strings individually, so 10 single knots, but we're also going to be entering in our white for our eye. So what you wanna do is do your straight edges, so do a backward forward, but then come in and do two forward knots. Make sure you have the pattern in front of you because seeing where you do the white is important. So once you do two forward knots, you have to implement in your white string. So I have just tied my white and then I'm gonna bring it under these three strings like that. And then I'm gonna take my green string. Actually, I'll just leave it in and show you what I'm gonna do. So with this white string on this next bass string, I'm gonna do half the forward knot. And then I'm gonna take my green and just put it through that knot. So it's like halfway in. And then I'm going to take the white and do the rest of my forward knot. But then I'm gonna take this green and put it all the way back through the other side. So we don't have to think about it for a couple minutes, I guess. You are going to do four total white knots right now. So you're gonna do another white forward knot. Another one. And then this is the last white forward knot you're gonna do. Then you could take your white string and put it back on this side. Bring back in your green string and do a forward knot over this next bass string. And then you're gonna do another forward knot since this is a special row. And then you're going to do a forward backward knot over that final string. Voila. For the next row, you are going to be doing our straight edges, so a forward backward knot on this for the most string. Then you're gonna do one backward knot closest to it, but then you're gonna take your green string and throw it back out this side so we don't have to tie a knot on it and bring back in our white thread. With this white thread on this next base string, you're going to do a backward knot like that, and then you're going to do five more backward knots. So you're essentially, essentially expanding the eyeball to for the frog. So I'm almost done. Four. Totally you're gonna have six white backward knots in this row. Six, I've just reached six. So then I'm gonna take my white thread and throw it back out the back. While I'm doing so, I'm going to bring the green string back in and then do two of the little knots on the end, so I'm gonna do two backward knots on the end. I'm gonna push that down, perfect. One, and then I'm gonna do a backward forward for this last string. This next row is basically another special row. So what you're gonna start off by doing is taking your green thread and doing a backward forward knot. Then after that, you're gonna do a forward knot but then you're going to bring in your white. So let's take out this green off the side. Take our white, bring it underneath, and then we'll start by doing a forward knot. And we will be doing two forward knots before bringing in our black thread for the center of the eyeball. Okay, I know I have black base strings, but what we're gonna do is take this black and put it underneath the first four base strings on the left side. And then we're going to do a half a forward knot with it, and then we're gonna put the white string through it, and then we're going to do the other half of the forward knot. Then we're gonna take our white string and we're gonna hold it back, like, like pull it back this way. Pull it back this way so we can do a half a forward knot with our black thread again, and then put the white string through it, and then finish off the forward knot with the white thread. Well, sorry, with the black thread. So now we have done two forward knots with the black thread. So then hold the black thread to the left, like pull it that way and take the white thread and do half of a forward knot and then put the black thread that we were just using through it. I know this is hard to see, so I'm gonna try and change the lighting a bit. But then we're going to finish off the forward knot with the white thread and then we're going to just do a regular forward knot with the white thread. What I had just done there is carry the white thread through the black thread and the black thread through the white thread just to make it look a little neater but you don't have to do that if you don't want to because it's kind of confusing and doesn't make a lot of sense but now we're gonna take the white thread and just pull it back out to the left 
So our green thread can just come in and just do its thing. So we'll just do a forward knot and then a forward and backward knot. There we go. In this next row, we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but opposite. So we're going to take the first green string and do a forward backward knot over the ending string. And then we're going to do a backward knot. So we've just done two green knots for this. Then we'll take the green string and just put it out the side so we don't tie another knot over it by accident because I've done that before and it's not fun. But then we'll bring our white thread underneath everything and then we'll just start off the row again. So we'll just do a backward knot for the white thread. I'm just going to carry my white, my green thread through because they're kind of getting uneven. So there we go. And then I'm going to do another white backward knot. So I've done two green and then two white knots. Like so. But then we're going to bring in our black thread underneath the four strings from the right side. And we're going to do a half a backward knot. And then we're going to thread the white thread through it. And just finish off that backward knot. So then we'll pull the white thread to the right like so, so it's to the right. And then we're going to take the black thread that we're using as our leading strand, and we're going to do a half a backward knot on this next base string. Then take our white thread, thread it through. And with this back black thread, sorry, we're going to finish off the backward knot, so like that. Next, we can just take our black thread and push it back underneath so we don't think about it anymore, and we'll just do two white backward knots like so do, 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 do. oh no my strings sorry two white backward knots and then we're going to take the white thread and push it back underneath the bracelet and then we'll take our green leading strand of course and we'll finish it off by doing a backward knot and then a backward forward knot like that amazing Okay, so this next row is our last fully expanded row. We're going to start with our straight edges, so a backward forward knot, and then we're going to do a forward knot on the next black base string. Then we're going to bring in our white thread, like this, put it underneath everything, and then catch it up. So then we're going to be doing a forward knot, sorry, with our white thread. I forgot, to put, I forgot to put my green on the other side. So we're going to be doing six white forward knots in this row. So that was one. This is two. Three. Four. And then five. Six. So now I have done six white knots and then I'm going to take my white thread and push it back out the back but bring my green thread in to do the last two knots so I'm going to do a forward knot and then I'm going to do a forward backward knot because we're doing straight edges technique like that so now we have done that last row so I believe in this next row, we have to condense again. So what I mean by condense is put these two strings together. Okay, I was wrong. This is not our last full expanded row. This next row is. So what we're going to do is again, start off with our straight edges technique and do one knot. Then we'll do another green knot, another green backward knot. And then we'll do one more. So now I've just done three green backward knots. Now we'll take our green thread and move it off to the side when we bring in our white thread. And we're going to do some four white backward knots. One. Two. Oopsies. Three. And four. So now after this, we're going to bring in our green thread because we're done with our white, so we can put our white back out the other side. Take our green thread and then do three forward knots. Or two, two forward knots and then a forward backward knot. Okay. Voila. 
that is the first eye we are finished and now it's time to begin condensing our rows so what that means is you're going to group these next two on the other side and you're going to do so group these together and then you're going to do eight regular forward knots okay guys this next row also adds more strings to the right side so right now we have two let's just add in a third and then so we have seven strings on this side so what we're gonna do is start off with our straight edges over this bundle so we're just grouping those three together then we're going to do a backward knot and then we're gonna do a backward knot five more times and then we're gonna do a backward forward knot for our straight edges technique like so this next row it's also a row where we decrease so we'll just take a string from the left and put it to the right so now we have four on the right and six on the left so what you're gonna do is our straight edges like always and then we're going to do six uh, I mean five sorry five forward knots and then a forward backward over the ending four okay and now I'm ready for my forward backward knot over that last thread beautiful okay nice this next row stays the same because we're inserting our little frogs smile mouth thingy me jogger so I'm just gonna pull these left four out so I don't forget to make the mouth and I'm just gonna do a forward backward knot over that bundle I just got interrupted for a second but we're gonna do two backwards knots with the green like this and then we're going to take the black thread for our smiley face and we're gonna do a single black backward knot so what I'm gonna do since it's just one knot is tie half the backward knot and then bring my green thread through it and then finish off the backward knot like that and then I'm going to take the green thread and just do a forward knot and bring the black thread back out this way so I've done one knot but then you're gonna finish off the row by doing one more green backward knot and then a green backward forward knot this next row we're going to do start off the row with our green thread if I can grab it it's right there I got it I got it okay we're gonna do our backward forward knot then we're going to do a forward knot then we are going to do a knot with our black thread so I'll just move my green off to the side bring my black leading string in for the smile and do one little knot like that then I'll take that black thread and put it right back out the other side and bring my green thread, green thread, sorry, back in the row. And then I'll do another forward knot like this. Sorry, my thread things are all annoying together. Okay, and then I'll do another forward knot. Then another one. And then a forward backward knot with that bundle like that nice amazing okay guys so i messed it up so we're gonna have two forward knots after the smiley face and then we're going to add another string into the right side and then we're gonna do a forward backward knot so that means we have our five and five groups back right now so we have five on the left and five in the bundle on the right next row is basically the same thing you're gonna do a forward backward on your bundle of five then you'll do two backward knots And then you'll bring your black thread back in for another part of the smiley face. So let's just bring that back in. And do, I'm gonna just do half of a backward knot and then bring my green thread through the knot so it just looks more even. And then I'm going to finish off the knot with the backward knot. Then I'm gonna take the green thread and just do a regular backward knot and then I'll take the black thread and push it back out to the right and then I'll take the green thread and then I'll do a backward forward knot. This next row you're going to be doing the same thing you're not decreasing any so we'll just start off with like straight edges and then we'll do one green forward knot 
And then we'll take the green string and we'll put it underneath as we bring in our black leading string to do a forward knot. We have to do this knot very carefully so not to distort the pattern any. So we'll just finish that off. Take the black thread and push it underneath the pattern. Then we'll take the green thread and we'll do the next knot as a green forward knot. Like so. And then we'll do one more green back oh, forward knot and then we'll do a bundle of five. We'll do a forward backward knot on the bundle of five. So we don't decrease any in that row. Okay, so this next row we're not decreasing any either. We're going to just do a forward backward on a five group. And then we're going to be doing two backward knots like this. Then we are going to take the green, I mean the black thread, sorry guys, and we're going to do a half of a backwards knot, like that. And then we will be taking the green thread, I mean the black thread, and finishing off the backwards knot and then taking it and putting it back underneath. And then we're gonna take the green thread and do a backward knot and then a backward forward knot to finish off this row, like that, amazing. So this next row is a special row, so that means we have five on the left. Now we're going to add six on the left, so now we have four on the right. What you're going to do is start off with our straight edges technique, and then do two forward knots of green. So one, and then two, and then we're going to be finishing off the curve of our little froggy smile. So what I'm going to do is bring my black thread underneath all the strings to where it has to tie its little knot. And I'm just gonna do half of a forward knot and then bring the green thread through for the other half of the forward knot. Like that. Then I will be doing a, another green forward knot. I'm sorry, my bracelet's kind of bending. And then I'll take the black thread and just push it back out of the bracelet. Then with the green, you're going to do another forward knot so as to shrink the group of five down to a group of four. And then we'll do a forward backward knot over that bundle, like that. Amazing. The next row is the same. No, not mine. Same. The next row is the same. You're just going to keep our bundle of four and do a forward backward knot. Then we'll do a backward knot over the rest of the thread, except the last one where we'll do a backward forward knot. So just doing our backward knots. And then, almost there, we're going to do a backward knot, and then a backward forward knot, like that. Amazing. Okay guys, this next row, we're also going to be making it larger, I guess. So, from this bundle, go ahead and pull out the one closest to the left. So we have only three strings in the bundle and seven out. It's just a row of green knots, so you can just, whoopsies, start with a backward forward knot and then do I think uh, six forward knots and then do a forward backward over the remaining three strings. Okay guys this next row is also another kind of pulling out expansion row thingy so make sure to take one of those black strings out of your group of three and make it a group of two and then just do the normal forward backward over that group of two and then do I'm guessing seven backward knots seven backward knots and then a backward forward knot. Okay, everybody, now it's time that we start the eyeball, the second one. It's literally the exact same kind of thing we did up here, so let's just, just keep in mind, this is going to be a full row, so there's going to be 10 base strings and there's going to be no grouping. So we do the first three knots, so we do the straight edges, and then we do two more knots, or forward knots in. One, two. Okay, and then after that, we take our white thread, bring that on in, take the green thread and throw it out the side so we don't, you know, make a mess or whatever. Then we do four white knots. One, oh dear. Two. Three. And four. 
Then I'm just going to take my white thread and throw it out to the this side, whatever blue side that is, the left, the right, the right, that's the right. Bring my green string back on in and then do a forward knot over the next base string. Gotta pull that white through. Then I'm gonna do another forward knot and then I'm, I'm going to do a forward backward knot because we are expanding. Voila, beautiful, amazing, okay. For the next row, this is also an expanded row so we're just gonna do our straight edges thing, pull up my sleeves. So we'll do a forward backward knot like so. Then we will do a backward knot on the base string. And then it's time we bring our white thread back in for the bracelet. So I'm just gonna start off by doing half of a white uh, backward knot and then I'll bring the green string through it. And then I'll finish the other half just to make sure it's a little more even and there's less bumps. I think that's called the flat alpha technique, I'm not sure. But then you are going to be doing a total of six white backward knots on this little row thing. Yep, so I'm at three. And six, almost. So now that we've done all those, we'll just take the white, throw it out to the left, take the green string, bring it on under. And we'll finish off the row with two, well, with one backward knot and one backward forward knot with the green thread. Okay guys, the next row is gonna be pretty much the same. We'll just start off with our backward forward knot and then we'll do a forward knot. This is where our pupil is going to come in for the froggy. So we'll just do two white knots because we have the little pupil for the froggy. One, almost two, good. Then we'll bring in our black leading string. I'm just gonna trim this black leading string. It's a little long and it gets annoying to touch. Okay, so, oopsies. We'll bring in our black leading string and we're going to tie two black knots. I'm going to just thread my white through it like I've been doing. So we'll pull the white back to the left, not the next black forward knot, and then pull the white through it. Voila. Then we'll be doing the two white knots for the eye. So we'll just tie half that white forward knot, thread the black through it, and then finish off the white forward knot. Then take the black, pull it off to the side, and just completely not use it in the next forward knot. So like that. Take the black and push it underneath the bracelet out to the side. Take the white, bring it underneath back that way so the green string can just do its thing without any interruption. Then we will be doing a forward knot with the green and then we'll be doing a forward backward knot with the green, like that. I'm going to take my ruler, actually I'll just use my fingernail and I'll just push up so it's all even. We have to repeat this row, basically the same except backwards. Start off with your straight edges, like always. Then do one more green backward knot before adding in the white. This is like the hardest row of the entire thing. So, whoopsies. Bringing in the white thread, which will do a backward knot. Like that. And then we'll do another backward knot. Now it's time to bring in the black leading string. So we'll just put it underneath everything and in front of the knot so that it's going to tie. So now we'll tie half a black uh, knot, thread the white through, and then finish off the black knot. Then we'll take the white and kind of move it off to the side as we finish off the black knot on the next, because we're tying two blacks, remember. Then finish off the knot. Then it's time for the white to finish the pupil. So we'll take the white, do a, I think that's a backward knot, yep. And then we'll finish off the white with backward knots. Well, with one backward knot. Okay, so now it's time on the last two knots to have a green string. So we'll take the white, put it underneath those strings off to the side and bring in the green. Almost there, okay. Now we'll finish off the row by doing one green backward knot and then one backward forward knot. 
The next row is going to start off the same with a forward backward with the green and then a one forward knot. Then we have to bring in the white thread and it's going to do six white forward knots. And this black thread is completely done for this whole pattern. So you eyeball your pupil thread is completely gone. So now we just have to use the white. And this is, we're almost done. Okay. So now with the white, we'll do six forward knots. Make sure the green is out of the way so we don't get it messed up. Okay. My sleeves, it's really sweaty in this room. Okay, almost done. Oopsies. And one more white knot before we could bring in that green again. Almost there. Okay, now the green is done. So, I mean, the white is done. Billy, really sorry. So, we can take the white and bring it off to the side as we bring back in the green. And for the green, we're gonna do one forward knot and then a forward backward knot to finish off the boost or the row. Sorry, guys. Okay, guys, this row that we're doing now is the last row that we're gonna have all 10 base strings out. So, we'll just do the straight edges with the first green string so forward backward and then we'll do a backward knot and then one more backward knot so we'll do three total knots on this side then we'll bring in the white thread for the very last time and we'll do four white knots make sure the green is out of the way so you don't accidentally knot over it Okay, now that I've finished my four white knots, I'm going to just take the white off to the side and bring the green back in to do two more backward knots and then a backward forward. Two more backward knots. And then a backward forward knot. Okay, like I said, now we will be condensing our string amount. So let's just group these two on the end together. So these two are grouped. And then we'll just do, I believe, eight knots. Well, one backward forward, and then six forward knots. Oh no. This next row is also going to be a condensing row. So we have a group of two over here. Let's just make it a group of three and add in that for the most side string and then we'll do a forward backward knot over it then we'll just start by doing the same old thing and do backward knots up until this and then on this knot do a backward forward okay now the next row we are also adding in another base string to the group so we have three we're gonna make it four and then we're just gonna do of course our straight edges again so a backward forward to start off the row and then we're going to do five forward knots and then a forward backward over the group. One. Okay. Now that that row is finished, we have okay. to do so this next row we have four in the group we're just going to keep it that way and then we'll decrease again so start off with a forward backward over the group and then just go do the backward knots and then end with a backward forward on that left distance okay so we are approaching our final row of decreasing so we have four we're going to make the group of five and now it's exactly how it was in the beginning we we'll start off by doing five knots and then doing a what the heck and doing a knot over the bundle so it's just one, two, three, four, five, and then a knot, a, back, a forward backward knot over the bundle. And now it's time to just do your 25 or however many more rows you want until you make the bracelet as long as you want it. Let me just show you my example. I made this bracelet and there's 26 rows on each side, give or take. 
So now it's just time to continue that process of doing those rows and finish off the bracelet.